Hi guys, I still miss you being here on Wednesdays and, and on Sundays too. But I'm glad we can get together and do our lessons at least together through the computer. So hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're doing all the things that you need to do with your schoolwork at home and being good for your mom and dad, which I know you are. Um, today, our lesson is the last lesson in our group. You know, for 12 weeks, we've been talking about our serial lessons and learning a lot about Jesus in our lives through serial. I know you remember our Bible verse. Okay, get ready. Say it with me. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who goes to him for safety. Psalm 34, 8. We had a lot of fun saying that Bible verse, and today we are going to taste Frosted Flakes. You see, we have Tony the Tiger on our Frosted Flakes, and you know what Tony the Tiger says? Frosted Flakes are great. That's what he says about those cereal. Well, had you rather have just plain old cereal flakes or would you rather have frosted flakes with a little sweetness on them, a little sugar on them? Well, basically, frosted flakes is just regular cereal corn flakes with sweetness on them. Now, you can tell a real difference in the two when you're eating them. Do you ever like to put a little sugar on your cereal? Or maybe if you're not having cereal, maybe if you're tired of cereal and you eat a grapefruit. Grapefruit's good, but I like to put a little sugar on my grapefruit. You know why? It makes, makes it taste better, makes it a little sweeter. So, had you rather have plain or had you rather have a little sweetness to it? Now, I know everyone knows that sugar is not good for you if we have too much. And I know that your parents have probably said you just can't have too much sugar. But life is a little sweeter if we have a little sugar to go along with it. We like things that are sweet. Sweet makes us feel happy. It makes us feel better. It gives us a little boost. It makes us have a better day sometimes to have a little something sweet. And today, as we do our last lesson, we're going to talk about how Jesus can make our life a little sweeter. Now, we've talked in the other lessons in the series about Jesus. Jesus is God's son. Jesus died for our sins. He wants to give us eternal life. He wants to help us with our burdens. And today, we want to look at how Jesus makes our life a little sweeter. Today's scripture kind of has two stories with it. And I hope you've had a chance to go get your Bible, and you brought your Bible with you to our lesson today, so that we can look at kind of a, a story that we have that's a twofer. It's two miracles in one. Jesus was going along in his life like any other day. But two miraculous stories happened on this day. Let's look at Luke 8, 40 through 56. Now, our lesson today is a little bit long, but it's a very good and interesting story. Luke 8, 40 through 56 says, When Jesus returned to the crowd and welcomed him, for they had been waiting for him, a man named Jairus, who was a synagogue leader, came and fell at Jesus' feet. He pleaded with Jesus to come to his house because his only daughter, a 12-year-old, was dying. As Jesus moved forward, he faced smothering crowds. A woman was there who had been bleeding for 12 years. She had spent her entire livelihood on doctors, but no one could help her. She came up behind him and touched the hem of his clothes. And at once, 
for bleeding stopped. Who touched me, Jesus said. When everyone denied it, Peter said, Master, the crowds are surrounding you and pressing on you. But Jesus said, Someone touched me. I know that power has gone from me. When the woman saw that she couldn't escape notice, she came trembling and fell before Jesus in front of everyone. She explained why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. Daughter, your faith has healed you, Jesus said. Go in peace. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came from the synagogue leader's house saying to Jairus, your daughter has died. Don't bother the teacher any longer. But when Jesus heard this, he responded, Don't be afraid. Just keep trusting, and she will be healed. When he came to the house, he didn't allow anyone to enter with him except Peter, John, and James, and the child's father and mother. They were all crying and mourning for her. But Jesus said, don't cry. She isn't dead. She's only sleeping. They laughed at him because they knew she was dead. Taking her hand, Jesus called out, child, get up. Her life returned and she got up at once. He directed them to give her something to eat and her parents were beside themselves with joy. But he ordered them to tell no one what had happened. You see, Jesus was changing lives that day, and he can change our lives too. Jesus first, as we read, met a man whose daughter was very sick. She was going to die, and they said if Jesus doesn't step in and help her, she surely would not live. But Jesus agreed to go with the man to heal his child, but along the way, a woman who had suffered from an illness for 12 years had had a terrible disease, and she finally got close enough to Jesus to reach out and touch the hem of his garment, and her life was made sweeter. You see, the little girl dies, and word gets to her father that the little girl had died, but Jesus turn that bitter, bitter news into a very sweet moment. Jesus goes to see the child and raises her to a new life. Jesus is changing lives still today, and he can change yours too. He gives us new life. He tells us if we accept him and live with him as our Savior, no matter what comes our way, no matter what happens, he gives us hope and joy. When Jesus is in our heart, our life is always sweeter. See, Jesus makes our life sweet in three ways that I want you to remember. First, he gives us new life because he forgives us. He gives us a do-over if we've done something wrong. He gives us another chance because we are his children and he has forgiven us for the things that we do wrong. Second, Jesus made life sweeter by giving us the Holy Spirit. He allows us to pray directly to God. And when we need help, we pray in the Spirit. And the Spirit can comfort us and make us feel better. The Holy Spirit allows us to be one with Jesus and allows us to get to know Jesus better and be on a personal relationship with him. And that makes our life sweeter. The third thing is, Jesus makes life sweeter by make, letting us see the world through his eyes. And when we do that, we see all the wonderful things that he has given us. We see rainbows, we see sunshine, we see the rain when we need it. We see flowers, we see the animals, we see everything that's good. We see everything created by God through Jesus' eyes. And we also see it in other people. And we want to help other people. God shows us an amazing world. 
He shows us an amazing love through his eyes. He loves us. He loves the world. So I hope you will make Jesus the Lord of your life. Let him come into your heart so that your life can be just that much sweeter. Jesus wants to be a part of your life. He wants to make your life sweet and live inside you. So tell Jesus, I'm ready to follow you. I'm ready for you to be in my life so I can be sweeter. Just like Tony the Tiger said, frosted flakes are great. If you have Jesus in your life, your life is great too. So let's bow our heads for our prayer today. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend. Teach us to trust him always and make our lives sweeter through your son. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys for being with us today. I'll see you next week.